All right, so we're gonna take Matt's Camaro from this to this. And then eventually this. But that's another video. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Mark, Skipper Mark and Matthew. So today, FedEx or UPS somebody delivered this package to us, FedEx man says. So it is an American Thunder exhaust system. It's a Flowmaster and it's a catback system. So it basically replaces the stock exhaust from the catalytic converter, well, behind the catalytic converter, all the way to the tailpipes. So we're gonna put that on. It should be a pretty quick and easy install. So this exhaust is a three inch. We got it at Summit Racing. And we will provide a link in the description in case you want to get the same exhaust. This exhaust was packaged March 11th, 2019 and approved by DZ or D2 and we're ready to go. It's gonna be a pretty quick and easy install. So the pipes are three inches and should sound a little bit deeper than a two and a half inch, which is also available. Plus with the upgrades we plan to do to the engine, having the larger exhaust will allow more air through the system and hopefully give us a little more power. So the muffler is a Super 80. The Camaro exhausts for this generation are all kind of unique. They're a single pipe once it merges from the headers and then it single all the way back to the muffler where it splits and then has a dual exhaust. It's kind of difficult to actually put a real dual exhaust all the way from the headers to the tailpipes. So Matt's car was lowered a couple yeah, inches and we're not able to get a jack under it so he's got to drive up on ramps to get enough clearance to slide the jack under. So Matt likes to jack up Camaros by the differential because he feels that it's more secure than doing it on the frame. He puts a couple hockey pucks in the tray of the jack so that it'll protect the frame and not actually scratch the underside of a differential. Matt always puts an extra set of jack stands under the car just in case it ever drops or anything. That way it'll have um, another set of stands to catch the car and not fall on him. He also shakes the car after he puts it up on the first set of stands to make sure that it's secure. The creaking noise you just heard earlier was just the axle or wheel or something making a little noise, but nothing to worry about. Also, to keep the car from sliding forward, he gets these little uh, wheel chocks and props those under the wheels, which keeps it from rolling forward. You can never really be too safe because, you know, you don't want a 3,000 pound car falling on you. So this Sawzall is pretty old, but it works awesome. And it's another Milwaukee tool that we just love. All right, so there it is, the old stock muffler. Might try to sell that because uh, it's in great shape. The exhaust looks like it's only a couple years old. And here it is, the first pipe that was cut. It's the pipe that comes directly off the cap. So this car, we got it about a little over a week ago. And um, it's super, super clean underneath. No rust anywhere. Has a new rear end in it, new transmission. It's in great shape. All right, all the exhaust parts have been removed. It's really hard to get that stock exhaust off because it's one huge piece. So we've got the uh, exhaust completely off and we're gonna give it a start, as my mom used to say, or we're gonna start it up, as I would say, um, to see how it sounds without any exhaust. It does have a catalytic converter on it, so it, that you know dampens the sound quite a bit. So 
So this is actually how the exhaust will go on the car and what it will look like when it's fully installed. I don't even know what goes to that little piece here. So Mama is gonna try to figure out what, uh, how the exhaust went back together or how it goes back together. It's like a puzzle. She's gonna solve it. That's cheating. <laughs> Nancy's always been good at solving puzzles and she successfully put the exhaust back together. So now Matt is laying out the parts of the exhaust to make sure that he gets it in the right order. He says now, looking back, he should have just done it at the shop rather than here in the driveway. It's being held up by jack stands right now. It's not tight, but. So now we got to make sure the tailpipes are centered on the car left to right and that's done by shifting the muffler left and right. So the clamps that come with the Flowmaster exhaust are kind of cheap. They're sort of hollow here and they're not even welded or one piece. So one of them bent when he had to crank it down because there was a slight exhaust leak. So we had to run to O'Reilly's and we got this real heavy duty one. Um, it's not quite as pretty, the color, but it works much better and held up tight without any leakage at all. So the exhaust is done. We're going to lower it down and we're going to do a after comparison so we can see how it sounds compared to when it had the stock exhaust. All right, we're gonna give it a after test now. So this is with the Flowmasters, no leaks, all set, ready to go. Sounds pretty good. Smoking me out with oil. Sounds pretty good. It's not uh, a whole lot louder, but it's definitely a deeper rumble. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, check back with us. Hopefully, we'll have some more videos soon.